So recently, AWS announced this ability to delegate an administrator for organizations. So now that we have this capability, which is long pending, we can delegate the administration of organizations to a member account. Uh, so what we can do is, so it says known delegated administrators, you can select type of policy. So this, uh, to be clear, it's only for policies. So anything related to backup policy, service control policy, stack policies, AA opt-out policies, we can delegate those administrative tasks to a member account. Uh, but anything other than that, like, uh, like creating new accounts, closing accounts, um, anything related to account lifecycle, that is still something which has to be done in the organization account itself. So the way we do that is, so this is the organization account. Uh, we come to settings. We have this uh, place where we delegate that. And then this, so from what we've seen earlier, usually delegation is like we we select a button, we, you know, flip open, flip on a button, uh, and then that delegates, we give uh, we give an account ID, and then that delegates the entire capability uh, for that specific, for that specific service to the member account. But in this case, because it's only related to policies, and uh, though we have uh, the capabilities of closing accounts and create accounts, we can't really, if we really click policy it will it will fail uh, because we don't have the that ability whereas we do uh, create policy then we can actually do that so create policy uh, we can actually do that we'll have to give in principle so which is the account id we'll go ahead and create the policy which i have already have here so this will be the account and then we have the policies um update policy list policies attach detach delete create this parents uh, we can also describe organization units and whatnot so this will be really helpful for our automation where we want to create and attach service control policies automatically using a pipeline uh, using a GitOps approach. So we will delegate this capability to an account where we run the automation from. So this this is an ideal situation because earlier we when we want to create any type of automation related to service control policies or anything related to organizations, we have to run the automation from the organization's account itself, which is which is the billing account, which is the master account. So, and one of the best practices from AWS is, is to not to run any kind of workloads or any kind of compute in the organization's account itself. So now that we have this capability, we can delegate the capability of managing organizations, especially service control policies in our case, to another account in which we can run our automation from. Uh, so for that purpose, we'll go ahead and create this policy. We're good to go. Uh, the policy is created. Um, this is the actual delegated account where we have service control policies enabled. Um, try to create a test policy, see if it actually creates. Mm, let's create a, a gateway. Yeah, we'll have to give something specific. Um, let's quickly give a test policy. So we'll place this. Um, let's see if it actually works. Yep, let's see it works. All right then. So we've delegated the capability. You try creating a test policy, and then it works. 